Burger King, but it's outdoors. Hopefully there's one indoors also. It's pretty warm outside. Don't want to be sweaty for our flight. First look at the departure area, check-in area, Ho Chi Minh City Airport. Hello. Some self-check-in, automatic check-in machines over there. So this is what a Ho Chi Minh City Airport check-in automatic check-in machine looks like. The only airlines it seems to work for are Air France, <coughs> Turkish Airlines and Vietnam Airlines. In the check-in area there is a baggage wrap available. Quite a big check-in area. There's one of the eateries inside the airport just before you check in. It's going to show you some various views of the airport from different angles. Behind me, I can actually see. Vietnam Airlines uh, the tarmac. So I'll probably go there after this. I currently at the laboratory. Taking turns, watching the luggage. Very modern airport. And now, as promised, we're going to head down to the corner window where I see some aeroplanes. <laughs> View, I promised. Okay, it's not as good as I thought it was. Sorry about that. But anyway, it's a little something. One Vietnam Airlines. Is it a Dreamliner? I can't really see from here, not through this lens. Let's carry on. We've got to find somewhere to eat and drink. It's probably going to be a long time until we can check in. China Airlines C E D Taipei Check. So just in front of me we have a map of the terminal of the airport. the map, those seats down there, there's an area for charging your mobile phones, quite a few power sockets by the chairs there, quite a busy area for the Etihad Airways check-ins. Here we have an excess baggage counter, and a few airlines, just walking to the other side of the airport, we're of course still on the check-in area. It's actually quite a busy airport, as you can see by the queues, here and there. More queues, this 
queue for Cambodia here. And it's a uh, coach. Uh, we're heading down to the other window down there to have a look up the view. Talk about the Christmas trees, even though it's the 9th of January today. Some more chicken counters. This one's for a flight with Vietnam Airlines. Vietnam Airlines, VN flight, flight zero three. Just Good information here about if you're allowed to take to Korea. Right down in the corner of the check-in area of the airport, you have the VAT refund. Here's the outside view from the other end of the terminal. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful sunset today. We have the air traffic control tower. Maro patiently waiting over there by the orchids. Rather nice airport. So just after you pass security, there's a big duty for your shop. Now we're off to find something to eat. We're going to head down in this direction afterwards to gate 26. We're still pretty close to the security control, they're actually right behind me. We're going to make our way up those stairs there in the corner to the food court. Not sure if you can see the sign, I think you can. I'm just going to show you, as I always show you at these airports, it is a Victoria's Secret. One of the shops that all the airports have nowadays. We'll take a little walk after we eat a little around the airport and you can see what's going on. I feel like a burger. Oh my goodness. I feel like a burger. Burger King. We missed it on the way out on our flight. Here we are up in the food court. Quite busy. Looks okay. Definitely get something to eat. Something for everybody. We've eaten so much fur on this holiday, so I think we're gonna go with the Burger King. Fur is very good, but now we need something solid. At least I do. Mano's just taking some photos. Hopefully she's making some good ones for Instagram also. If you haven't already signed up to our Instagram account, and follow us on Instagram, please do so. And by the way, we're also on Facebook, if you want to like us there. So upstairs on the first floor in the Ho Chi Minh City Airport, once you pass the security control, there is a food court. Let me try and show you the prices of the burgers also. In the airport, the prices are in dollars. Hopefully we can pay with our dong. We would like to leave our dong in Ho Chi Minh City. for a real treat. So 
those of you who feel like it, there is a spa up in the food court. Sen Viet Spa. Also up here in the food court section, there's a place called Daisy Restaurant. I'll just read what it says there. Dear valued customers, Daisy Restaurant only provides F&B services to missed flight passengers holding valid vouchers issued by Sasco. We do not serve individual passengers. So, it's not a lounge, it's not a restaurant. Also up here in the food court, there's a nice bar, sports lounge and dining. It's called Finn Bar. It looks quite exclusive and rather nice. Nice place to visit. And just opposite the Finn Bar, there's another spa, Sinvit Spa. The other end of the food court, we have the Vietnam Airlines Lotus Lounge. It's of course, their business class lounge. The Lotus Lounge is, of course, for all Sky Team member airlines. The Finn Bar, seen from the front, the main entrance of it. And a bookshop, also up on the food court level. Now we're heading down from the food court, back into the main gate area, which is, of course, through another tax-free shop as we get down. Not sure which direction we're going to go first. I think we had to go to the other end of the... Looks like Aeroflot crew. And we've got to go down to the one end of the airport and back in the other end. downstairs. It does say on the wall if you crave a bigger meal, go upstairs to the food court. There are quite a few duty-free shops in this airport. But if you need to do some last-minute shopping, it shouldn't be a problem. The airport does provide a free drinking water service. Here's the fountain there on the left. You can see that new, modern, more improved machine is being made there, or being installed. I was walking here, came to the end of this escalator without noticing it, and Mara and I almost had a pile up. Hopefully, we don't do it again this time. 
course, we're going to do it again this time. Now we're smart and we know it. Mano is just warning me, we're coming to the end. And we're here. Yeah. Souvenir shops. I think we're almost at the end of this terminal now. All Vietnamese products. Right us down here in the end. Your handbag shops. It looks like there's a lounge down at the end. Sasko Rose. Kip Lounge. Kip Lounge. Siaki or GIP. See the terminal makes a little twist at the end. A few more gates oh, in that direction. Can't be that far more. Doesn't look like this lounge is open, but it is a business lounge for airlines like Emirates, Singapore Airlines, Eva Air, Philippine Airlines, Air China, Air New Zealand, Turkish Airlines, etc. So, right down here, almost by gates eight and nine. There's a VAT refund center or desk. At the very end of this terminal, there's something new called a relaxing lounge. Obviously, a lounge for all the passengers. You can probably buy your way in. Relaxing lounge, soft drinks, and looks like some comfortable couches in there. There don't appear to be any customers yet. Gates 6 to 8 or down in that direction. We're heading back in the other direction again. Good news for smokers, I can see there's a smoking room available to you here in the airport. Just ahead we have the little smoking room. Now we're just about to arrive at the area where we started our walk and went up to the food court. We're going to proceed down towards gates 18 to 27 from here. The blue desk is the airport information counter. Now we're going to be heading down to gates 18 to 27. There's some other stairs up to the food court and you can have a better look at what kind of restaurants are available up there. Finbar that we saw, the big bowl, which is some pho, soup restaurant. Fresh Japanese cuisine, next noodles, Burger King of course, and Ili cafeteria or coffee shop. You can see no matter what gate you depart from, to the left or to the right, the shops are pretty much the same, yes, and the same services are available. There's a first aid point at the airport, if you need any attention, medical attention. And you don't have to worry about duty-free shops. There are more than enough duty-free shops here in this airport. We're at the end of the escalator. It's a nice view out the window of one Anna Airlines. As mentioned earlier, it's a pity it's not daytime because these panorama windows provide a fantastic view of the tarmac and the runway. That's me there in the window, by the way. Hi there. Down there you have some more gates, departure areas. 
this area down here is gates 21 to 25 so I reckon 25 are the low ones that lower level down there shop Puro Gusto right next to a little children's playground appears to be popular with some of the kids already talk so much when I get there. I don't want to wake anybody up or disturb people. So we now made it to the end of both airports. This is the last end we're going through. I'm by the sleep area where there are some sleep zone cabins. All seem to be occupied so we can't have a look inside but you can see them from the entrance they have a little sliding doorway so one would imagine that there's some soft mattresses in there to lie on now let's head way down there in that direction again down towards the old gates 